The most anticipated arrival at the Geneva Motor Show this year is the new Renault 5. Sure, the supermini that was dubbed the LE car in the US is officially back in Europe, but it's entirely electric now. The 1996 model Renault 5 is back and ready to take on the city jungle. The French brand hasn't made many design changes from the early 2021 concept car. According to what we've been informed, the Renault 5 E-Tech Electric, an electric super mini, has retro-futuristic style that gives it a contemporary appearance while remaining loyal to its heritage. Like the pronounced wheel arches, the adorable headlamps and vertical tail lights pay homage to the Renault 5 that came before it. To create the appearance of a three-door body type similar to the original, Renault chose to insert the rear door handles at the base of the C-pillars. The current model only has five doors, as opposed to the three or five that the previous two models featured. Certain models feature red body highlights in homage to the R5 Turbo. By the way, the Alpine A290 hot hatch is scheduled to release later in 2024. Regarding the inside, the rectangular air vents and the dashboard's vertical stitching both include original design elements. The infotainment and digital instrument cluster's massive frame is reminiscent of the blocky dash from the past. The touchscreen always has a 10.0 inch diagonal whereas the driver's display is either 7.0 or 10.0 inches in size, depending on the variant. With a wheelbase of 100.0 inches, 2.54 meters, the 2025 Renault 5 is 154.3 inches, 3.92 meters long, 69.7 inches, 1.77 meters, wide, and 59 inches, 1.5 meters, tall. It is a small automobile, but it has a load capacity of 11.5 cubic feet, 326 liters, and it has big 18-inch wheels with tires measuring 195-55 R18. The new EV is the first to use the Amp R small platform formerly known as CMFB EV, and is larger than the Twingo but smaller than the Clio. With a smaller 40.0 kWh battery pack, the lightest variant weighs 2,976 pounds, 1,350 kg, while the heaviest one weighs 3,197 pounds, 1,450 kg, with a 52.0 kWh battery. If you use the standard battery, the front-mounted motor will provide 120 horsepower and 166 pound-feet, 225 newton meters, of torque, or 95 horsepower and 156 pound-feet of power, 215 nm. When using the improved battery, the e-motor will produce 150 horsepower and 181 lbft, 245 nm. This means that it will take less than 8 seconds to get from 0 to 62 miles per hour and less than 7 seconds to go from 50 to 75 miles per hour, 80 to 120 kilometers per hour. The top spec vehicle may reach an electronically capped speed of 150 kilometers per hour, 93 miles per hour, at full speed. In the WLTP combined cycle, the standard battery provides 186 miles. 300 kilometers of range while the upgraded pack provides 249 miles 400 kilometers of range while the larger battery can handle up to 100 kilowatts the smaller battery can only support up to 80 kilowatts of dc charging power the maximum ac charging power is 11 kilowatts it takes 30 minutes to charge both batteries from 15 to 80 percent using dc it's important to note that DC charging is not available for the base Renault 5 with the 95 horsepower engine.